Hi, Andrew Kramer here with Video Copilot. Now to start, I'm gonna take this uh, real eight millimeter film clip, which is actually digitally transferred from real eight millimeter film, so you can't get any more authentic than that. So what I wanna do is I wanna drag this layer down onto my timeline window right over our bride footage, and then line that up at the zero point. And the next thing I wanna do is essentially key out this white area so that all the dust and dirt is basically overlaying our bride footage. Now to do that, we're gonna change the transfer mode of this film layer. And to do that, we just click on this mode and we change it from normal to, for this particular case, multiply. So with that selected, we can, we can see that immediately we're getting, we're, we're getting somewhere. Um, the dust and scratches are right on top of our bride footage and it's starting to look pretty good. But we wanna take that a step further. So the next thing I wanna do is make a new adjustment layer. So we go layer, new, adjustment layer. And an adjustment layer, if you don't already know, is basically an effects layer that allows you to add effects to it and it basically affects all the layers below it. So let's go ahead and add a hue adjustment um, to this. So we'll go to adjust hue and saturation. Now inside of this effect, um, we're gonna click on the colorize box, which is gonna turn on a tinting mode. And let's go ahead and change the hue to about 25. And that kind of gives us a, a nice old look. And the saturation at 25 looks pretty good. So, uh, you know, right away we get a really, really nice look. But we can also take this another step forward and blur the edges of the video to kind of give it a nice projected look. Um, that, you know, with the uneven focus of a uh, old projector lens. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bride footage and I'm gonna duplicate it. And to do that, we're gonna go edit, duplicate. Now with this layer selected, um, if we come up to our tools palette, um, underneath um, the rectangle mask tool is another tool called the elliptical mask tool. And with that showing, if we just double click on it, we automatically add a round mask to our footage. And that's exactly what we wanna use. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is with this, with this bride footage selected, this second instance of the original bride footage, I'm gonna add a fast blur. So we're gonna go to effects, blur, fast blur. And we're gonna make it say about 25. And let's go ahead and repeat the edge pixels so that our blur doesn't get cut off prematurely. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna go into the mask properties for this layer. So if we bring down this little drop down arrow, we see masks here. And underneath here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the mode of this mask to subtract. And so as you can see, that's basically taking away the middle part of this mask. Now, it's hard to see on the edges, but the edges are now being blurred out. So we'll go ahead and shut off the film layer for now just so we can see what's going on. So as you see the layers, uh, the edges are pretty blurred out. But we want, to, uh, we want to make that a little bit more impactful. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the mask expansion into some negative values. And that's going to bring the layer in as you can see. Maybe to about right here or so. And then we're going to feather the edges of the mask so that we kind of get a gradual fade of the blur. And let's even change the, uh, uh, the expansion just a little bit, maybe about right there or so. So as you can see, we're kind of getting a nice blurred edges look. And you know, you can use this uh, technique for you know, many other instances, but in this particular case, it really adds to the authenticity of this effect. Now let's go ahead and turn this real eight millimeter film layer back on. So now as you can see, we have these, we have these really blurred edges um, and we can even go back into this layer and and boost the blurriness maybe to about 50. So that gives it a really nice look. So if you don't wanna have these outer borders, what you can do is select the real eight millimeter film loop and just, just increase the scale of it. And that way you still get the nice dust and scratches, but instead of having that little vignette mask, um, you know, depending on what you're doing. Um, I, kinda think, I kinda think it's a nice effect. It adds just kinda like that you know, projected on the wall look or whatever. So anyway, this is how you can create an old film look right inside After Effects.